So Best Motoring started, um, I think it was, I think it was like in, when did it start? Like, I saw 87 uh, is what I said. 87? Yeah. yeah. 87. Well, originally, so there was a car magazine called Best Car in Japan. They Actually, they still have it. And so it was published by a company called Kodansha. And Best Motoring is the basically the, the video version of Best Car. So the guys at Best Car said, hey, we should go, you know, while we're at the tracks and everything, we should just start shooting some some videos. And it was kind of like a add on to the to the magazine for a while. Did then, were they were they doing the wheel to wheel racing for the magazine? No, oh, okay. no, no. At, at the beginning, they were just like, uh, you know, simple driving impressions, not even at the tracks. You know, it was just like driving around Hakone or, you know, scenic routes, basically. What it is like best car and best motoring. Is that as corny in Japanese as it is in when you translate it into English? Does it just, does it sound, it does, it probably it's a normal sounding name for something in Japan, right? Yeah. You know, it's one of those, uh, English things, you know, it's like it's best car is like yeah. combine two words together, best motoring. And you know, you, you have a product. That's usually how you name YouTube channels now, actually. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's true. It's good SEO. Best name. So, at what you got involved in what the year two thousand, right? So, sort of the midpoint of the of the production of that series, which ended for good in I think twenty eleven. Yeah. How did you become involved? So you know, we were we had a business at that point already. um, Kind of, we had a website actually that um, basically told it pop culture, Japanese pop culture. We wrote about and shot. Uh, photos about Japanese pop culture and the automotive section was the most popular section. And two of the guys that I used to work with, um, Katsu and Masa, who are now the founders of, of uh, Built by Legends. I don't know if you've heard about these guys, but I have um, not. anyways, um, uh, they came to me and said, hey, there's this thing called uh, Best Motoring and um, we should get the rights. And I, at that time, I was kind of away from the automotive scene. I, I was I was like living in South America, and I was kind of like, um, you know, not not really following automotive that much. And um, Best Motoring kind of got me back into cars. Um, so we went over there and said, "Hey, you guys have something really special. Can we do the English versions?" And to be honest with you, we had no idea what we were doing. <laughs> <laughs> we had we had never um we've done some translation works but work but we've never um, done any type of video production at all and you know back in the day you you needed to go into a studio to do anything like even graphics and voiceovers and you know you, we had to you until know, we had like 2005 it was crazy expensive to do anything on video like yeah, me and yeah. me and my friend larry casilla made like a video in 06 or 07 and we needed a real helicopter for it like yeah, we needed a yeah, camera exactly. that had like shot cassettes i'd never fucking seen before i had to yeah. do like thousands of dollars in transcoding like it was like craziness yeah exactly i mean there, there were no i mean in the early days of best motoring we literally had to use powerpoint and like print out the the subtitles that's and fucking, they would scan it's it, like south right? parking the subtitles <laughs> right i mean it was it was crazy and it, you know there were no gopros back then you know it was like everything was shot professionally yeah and we would get the master tapes and you know we would start by translating everything we we you know um write everything up and then translate it and then write you know a stack of like pa- uh, papers like little little we'd, we'd like have to like print out these pieces of paper with the subtitles so they can scan it and wow it. wow it's like so yeah, it's og right. lower third yeah, it really is. <laughs> it's literally like it's, south it's park incredible. cutting out paper it's yeah. very crazy <laughs> Were you, That's did you, OG I am. <laughs> did you get involved in any of the, of the production of the, of the series once you became the uh, distributor? Did you only collect shot footage really? No, no. We, so we, anytime they went overseas, mm-hmm. uh, so our relationship grew. And so I would, you know, uh, we would be invited to the, the shoots, obviously. So uh, when we could go, we'd go. And anytime they would go overseas, we would be like the coordinating producers for, for them. So, um, when the, any 
you know, like when, uh, like Sam, you know, f- was featured, Sam Matani. Yeah, Sam Matani. He was on, so. he was on our show last year. Yeah. Good dude. Yeah, exactly. So we arranged that we produced that one. And when the, uh, hot version came over with, uh, Tsuchi Asan to do the, uh, uh, American Toge series, uh, we did, we did all of that on stateside. Yeah, the American Toge series too. Yeah, I yeah, forgot about that? that. Oh, look at the snow <laughs> one. I love this picture Zach just found of like snow rally cross and press cars. Yeah, it's fucking crazy. Yeah. Same circuit. No, that was crazy. What? It's wild. Why? How? How? What was it about the Japanese? Like, was it the culture, the production of the TV? Like, how? Why was it totally okay for them to like? straight up be racing these cars they they in america that shit just won't fly yeah so you know it started from a magazine and it went over to so they were legit you know um motor journalists right at best car and then they branched off uh the president was actually the same guy and he hired a bunch of dudes to do the 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 video version at best motoring and so the the first thing they did was like okay we're gonna you know if we're driving this on video and we're being shot on video we can't you know half ass anything because they're gonna see that we're like kind of half assing it so it it just became this thing where you know if we're gonna take it on the track we're we're going full blast guys and the the manufacturers kind of were cool with that they're like okay and they kind of got on board because um, best motoring and best car helped sell a lot of cars in Japan. So it yeah. was already a respected uh, a media outlet. So when the video started and they were like, you know, we're going to take these cars out and battle them, you know, full blast on the track. Manufacturers was like, okay, you know, well, if you know, I mean, I can see some manufacturers' perspective as okay. So this is a you know, it's a marketing expense. It's a press car, and, and you know, these are professionals. And if it gets written off, you know, all right, that's the cost of doing business, I guess. But like, you know, there's episodes of uh, of the show where you see F40s and <laughs> Diablos and shit. I cannot yeah, yeah. imagine Ferrari is getting on right. board with an F40 and best motoring. Yeah, you know, so, so those are the uh, so those are the ones that that we really had to work hard to get. Um, so the Japanese cars were cool and some of the uh, European car manufacturers, the branches in Japan were cool with lending us cars. Um, but, you know, Ferrari, you know, for example, I mean, Lamborghini, I mean, all these guys, we had to borrow them from, from regular owners. That's so, so that I mean, wow. imagine, imagine an owner yeah. letting you, letting you wheel to wheel yeah. race their fucking F40. Exactly. That shit is nuts. <laughs> So the insurance was just like, inc- it was just like crazy. Well, oh, the you could get a policy for that, huh? Yeah, yeah. So we'd get it just just for the day. So they, they would get it just for the day. And they, they, they told me about it. But, you know, there, I've, I've heard some some crazy stories about, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, Wait, and you guys, you like, guys, did you always start the slower cars in front so that the faster cars would move up through that pack? And so therefore... I mean, it makes the race more interesting and fair, but it also means whoever's car is in front, like they're going to be encountering more vehicles than if they had started at the back. So, you know, if it's private owners, you have to be like, by the way, eight cars are definitely passing you because (laughs) your car is slower. Yeah, it wasn't, you know, we called it reverse grid, you know, but it was, it wasn't always like that though. Um, Sometimes it was just, you know, you do the fast cars go up front and and they'd, they'd run away. But um, since the battles were sh- so short, you know, there were only like three or maybe five laps, you know, at most. So yeah. in order to um, get as much excitement out of the battles, you know, they, they would uh, do the reverse grid. And and also just going back to the manufacturers, um, the fact that these all these were all professional race car drivers in the battle, that gave them a little bit of, uh, you know, peace of mind, I guess, mm-hmm. you know, like... Um, like Gansan, uh, uh, Motoharu Kurosawa, the, the older, older gentleman. Um, so he was actually a, a Honda, uh, factory, uh, developing driver. He was a test driver for Honda. So they were cool with Gansan going out with the NSX or, you know, the, any of the Honda cars. Right. Um, so you got to shuffle the guys who's in what car, depending yeah, on so, right, well, this dude. Can... A, well, yeah. So if you watch best morning for a long time, you'll see that uh, Gansan is usually in a, in an NSX during these battles. 
Um, you know, like uh, Nakaya is always in a Mitsubishi because he was a Mitsubishi uh, test driver. Interesting. Uh, so you, yeah, they kind of like, um, you know, chose their guy, you know. I think the in, and a couple of things that really stand out to me from that show is it introduced me as an American to a lot of the brand name Japanese tuners mm-hmm. like Veilside and uh, HKS and a bunch of yeah. the guys that had, you know, these kind of complete builds. I really, yeah. you know, watch this watching this like tuner skyline like battle like he pulled it up. Was that a Sylvia or something? It was uh, Veilside. Veilside uh, yeah. uh, Supra battling an F40. I mean, that's like, oh, shit, that's a, you know, David Goliath. <laughs> kind of thing um i might have seen rwb for the first time on best motoring maybe um and 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 definitely hks for sure yeah um and i think that was really interesting and i also think that they did such a good job it might have been the translations and like or it might have been because it was the guys were like were like yelling at each other while racing but i thought they they the racing drivers like really their personalities came through even though i had like no idea what they were saying you know, at yeah. the time yeah it was so yeah, great we, we we tested a lot with that too like at the beginning um we used um voiceovers for the race car drivers as well um but in order to get the full excitement of them yelling at each other. We started subtitling the drivers and only using VO for the narrator. And uh, funny enough, we used the, uh, the the Iron Chef guy. I don't know if you guys. Oh ever yeah. That <laughs> yeah. What's that guy's name? The, I forget yeah. that. I uh, uh, forget that dude's name. The Iron Chef narrator yeah. guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's very funny. Yeah. So we. <laughs> no subs, dudes. Uh, subs over dubs. Always subs mm-hmm. over dubs for sure. 